Welcome to Seacoast Real Estate Academy. In today's video, we'll be covering all key terms in the final unit, 21. Some key terms are repeated from earlier units. Be sure to check out the list at the end of the video for those key terms. Accrued items. On a closing statement, items of expense that are accrued but not yet payable such as interest on a mortgage loan or taxes on real property. Buyer Closing Disclosure BCD A form required as of 2015 in most residential mortgage transactions provided to a buyer prior to closing that includes details about settlement costs such as loan and closing costs. Closing The consummation of a real estate transaction. Seller delivers clear title and buyer delivers payment of the purchase price. Occurs at the recordation of the deed per the standard residential sales contract. Closing Disclosure CD a settlement form required in most residential mortgage loans required by the TRID rules since October 2015. Credit On a closing statement, an amount entered in a person's favor, an amount the party has paid or an amount received from another party. Debit on a closing statement, an amount charged, an amount the party must pay at settlement. Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act Dodd-Frank Act Legislation passed in 2010, primarily affecting financial institutions and their consumers in an effort to prevent a reoccurrence of events that caused the economic recession and the mortgage market meltdown during the mid-2000s. Good Faith Estimate GFE A document that outlines the estimated costs and terms of a reverse mortgage loan offer enabling borrowers to comparison shop among different lenders and choose the deal that best fits their needs. HUD-1 Settlement Statement A document that lists all charges and credits to the buyer and to the seller in a real estate settlement or all the charges in a mortgage refinance. Loan Estimate LE As of 2015, a form required to be given by lenders to most residential mortgage borrowers outlining loan expenses. Prepaid Item On a closing statement, expenses paid before they are due, such as hazard insurance or rent, also called prepaids a lump sum payment to set up a reserve account, such as deposits of taxes and insurance, to set up the borrower's mortgage loan escrow account. Prorations Shared expenses, either prepaid or paid in arrears, that are divided equitably between buyer and seller at settlement. Regulation X The rules which implement and interpret the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, RESPA, of 1974. Seller Closing Disclosure SCD A type of settlement statement that may be used in residential transactions that are governed by TRID regulations. Settlement The process of adjusting and prorating credits, debits, and closing expenses to conclude a real estate transaction. Settlement Agent A licensed, qualified agent who prepares all documents belonging to the act of buying or selling property 
and handles all investigations to make sure debts are removed and important information about the property is communicated to the buyer. Settlement Service Provider An individual or firm that handles the facilitation of closings. Settlement Statement a form that summarizes the flows of money owed or credited to the seller and buyer at the closing of the transaction. Soil Suitability Test An engineer's test to determine the ability of the ground to absorb and drain water. Used to determine suitability and location of septic system. Also called a percolation or perk test. TILA RESPA INTEGRATION DISCLOSURE TRID Rules which integrate the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act RESPA, and Truth in Lending Act TILA, Disclosures and Regulations The rule describes the use of the loan estimate and the buyer closing disclosure, among other matters. The TRID rules and forms took effect on October 3, 2015. Walkthrough Inspection The final inspection of the property by the buyer prior to closing to assure that the seller has vacated, made required repairs satisfactorily, and delivered the property in the condition it was in at contract. Yield Spread Premium A fee, usually expressed as a percentage of the loan amount, paid by a lender to a mortgage broker for making a loan at an above market interest rate with little or no origination fee. The lender will receive an increased yield due to the higher interest rate, allowing the compensation of the mortgage broker without an origination fee. Here's the list of key terms you can find in previous videos. If you like this video, feel free to share it with a friend. For more real estate education content, please subscribe to the channel. From all of us at Seacoast Real Estate Academy, thank you for watching.